Chinese body armor. Take one. You're not on full auto, right? Because I don't no. want you riding up into my face. Right there. I guess it didn't hurt you too bad with the clock. You feel high. Okay. Stop the BB gun. Let's keep moving. So no joke, the other day, Tactical X-Men hit me up on Instagram and they wanted me to try out their armor. I'm like, sure, send some over. I started getting shipping notifications from China. And then I look and I'm like, wait, this is like if legit Chinese body armor. I'm not sure if it, I can trust it. Earlier we tried it with a BB gun. That was a BB gun, Safety Sally's. It's okay. I, I'm okay, it didn't even go through the nylon. <laughs> But we're gonna pull out all the stops today start shooting it and see if this armor is something you can depend your life on But I'll tell you what you can depend your life on and that is our sponsor the USCCA the US Concealed to Carry Association If you ever have to use your firearm to defend yourself or anyone else The legal system and the corrupt media is gonna come on top of you like a pile of bricks and to try to destroy you Even if you do everything perfectly and so the USCCA is literally there to save lives It's a membership association that provides self-defense education education, training, peace of mind to over 600,000 responsibly armed Americans nationwide. We're going to have a link down below so that you can click to learn more. We know you can depend on the USCCA. And now we're going to see if you can depend on Tactical X-Man Universal Armor. So this is the first time I've worn this and it's kind of neat. It locks in place and it slides either up or down. And when you pull this tab, it kind of allows you to slide it either way. Not bad, but the carrier I'm just not so fond of. Um, but I still don't want to just shoot it up. Because if this works out, I'm going to buy me one more plate and then I've got a plate carrier. We'll see what happens. So with that, we have <laughs> the universal armor here. So it is level three. And when I was reading about it, it was puzzling because it's polyethylene, like we tr tried with a uh, ace armor earlier, and ceramic. But ceramic usually goes with level four. That stops the black tip and, you know, armor piercing stuff. So this will just be interesting to see why it's level three. It's less than an inch thick. It's a 10 by 12 plate. And it's it's four pounds. So it's like it, it feels good. We're gonna duct tape it up to Bill here. This is my SBR CMMG Mutant Mark 47. I didn't pull it out much. I was like for the AK round, let's do it because it's 762 by 39. Uh, this is the same Arsenal brand ammo that we shot the uh, the, uh, the tree down earlier. All right, let's go for just a little high right so we have room for later. Fire in the hole. He jiggled a lot. He jiggled a lot. Let's go see what's up. Okay, okay. Uh, we, we've got, got our ceramic fragging. We've got a, just a little hole. I don't want to get cut. I bet ceramic's uh, sharp. Uh, nothing on Bill. Big bulge. That's a pretty big bulge in, in that. But I mean, what are we like? 15 feet away with a, with a solid tip. Uh, not a shabby start. This is where my friend Samuel that wrote me and was like, I want to see more ammo in grand action. I was like, me too. This is just full metal jackets. Um, I don't know. We'll just shoot it somewhere different. <laughs> That's a big boom. I like that. <laughs> That's a big boom. I like that. Oh man, it stopped it. That polyethylene stuff's pretty neat. I want to find out more about it. It, it feels like fiberglass, but what a, it, the website said something like 48 layers of it. But uh, okay, and those shots were pretty close together because when you shoot ceramic, they're usually tiles that crumble and that one part of the plate is definitely compromised, but it still stopped with some force. Sweet. Black tip, that's right. It's nasty, it's ugly because this old armor piercing stuff is hard to find. It's tungsten, but it's like, I, it's, we may just cut this video short, but we're crumbling ceramics. So before we crumble it too much, let's see why it's not level four. When you shoot a steel armor plate with uh, AP, you get sparks. I would love to see some sparks. The ping scared me, but I totally set the ping up on purpose. <laughs> but that was a, okay, I think I stopped it. The ping. Oh! <laughs> it is not level four rated for a reason. Oh, okay. Well, we tried. We tried. We had to try. It's smoking. That's that's why it's not level four rated. But okay, we stopped a 30-06 at 
10, 12 feet width just fine, that tungsten still cut through. So if you want level four, you better go level four. I just had to figure it out. It stopped it before it went out. It's time for Leatherman surgery again. Oh yeah! There's our tungsten chunk. So everything lead and copper coating, that got stopped. That's too cool. That is too cool. It actually spiraled. You can see it. It did its rifling thing even after through the armor. That is awesome. Okay, we're beating it up. So this this may may not work. Now, there's some, I don't watch anybody else's stuff. Sorry guys, but I know there's rumors because I've seen it in the comments that something about a 20 inch and a green tip. Green tips for Soviet era stainless steel pot armor. I don't think it's gonna stop it any different than it would, you know, a full metal jacket. I think it may have stopped it. It's very dramatic. That was the mess of our 30 out six. Two, two, three, uh, this 556 five, screen tip was about right here. That's where I was aiming anyway. Sweet. I have spread that out evenly. Let's see. Nothing. It stopped it. So this is because Carl says to me the other day, you still got that Desert Eagle? I was like, yes, and now I want to shoot it. We're going to be done with the rifle calibers because uh, we've crumbled that ceramic. But there's something about that polyethylene. I think it stops bullets. Let's see if it stops this one. It's time for the ring of fire. <laughs> that doesn't get old. <laughs> it stopped it. Something about that. We're losing all that. So, I don't know, is polyethylene whatever or like the new Kevlar? Because it sure seems to work, it, it, but it smells just like fiberglass, which is what it looks like is. 458 SOCOM. Was that a 500 grain from Detroit Ammo? Tromix Upper, Bauer Suppressor, Duramags. Okay, that's where I was going for. Busting out, <laughs> but didn't go through. Look at that, it's still stopping stuff though. That's crazy. We're done, it's mag dump time. We're going full auto. If you don't destroy in 30 rounds, well, that would be impressive. But, uh, oh, uh, Striker Magazine! Good boy. That's my boy. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. You ready? Good job. <laughs> he knows, he knows downrange. He's doing well now. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Okay, we can see peppered front very well. Da, 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 da. Wow. Nothing went through. Save that edge there and that edge there. It's like neoprene on the side, so that makes it uh, nice and uh, comfortable. Let's go to a table and dump it. Is it just. Oh, there's the 458. <laughs> it's like Christmas Easter eggs or something. That is awesome right there. That's that 458 round. And remember, the ceramic was shot by that point. It, it's not it's not hot still. It just all of a sudden I felt the sensation in my thumb and I thought I did. Get on in here though. Look at these. Uh so that, that's all our nine millimeter bullets. Uh oh snap! That's our 50 uh des desert eagle. Cause I re I remember what the bullet makeup. Okay. Pretty cool. I thought more nines would fall out, but they're probably just all in this crumbledness right here. Oh yeah, oh, okay. So there's more, uh, there's some more. Neat. So I was wrong on the universal armor from X-Men Tactical. I judged it a little early by the label. And uh, so yes, adhere to the warning on the label. It's only level three. Someone shoots a black tip at you, you need the level four. The level four I think was a little thicker. These are $2.99 a set. So it's not bad, 150 bucks a plate. We just destroyed 150 bucks here. But it stopped everything, we threw at it, and then some, except, you know, the black tip tungsten, but we knew that was gonna happen. So thanks for joining me today, guys. Okay, I love you, bye-bye.
Did you see that? Come on, Nasi. Come on, Nasi. Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball. Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah!